Richard Maybe Presents. Hello, YouTube friends. This is Richard Maybe with Richard Maybe Presents. It is Tuesday, September 24th, 2024. Uh, kind of a rest, resting day. Uh, clean house, uh, wash clothes, rest up, uh, watch gun smoke, take it easy day. Um, big news, big news, big, big news coming up. Um, I just had it on my phone here. <laughs> it's like the best laid plans of mice and men. Uh, October 4th and 5th, Friday and Saturday. Uh, where's the times here? The times, the times. 9 a.m. to 3 p.m., rain or shine. Friday and Saturday, October 4th and 5th, a uh, big, big comic book show, Joe Peace in Weirsdale, Florida, off of Highway 42. So to get more information, go on Google and put in Comic Book Connection, give you more information there. Big, big, big comic book and toy show, October 4th. Uh, it went all oh, October 4th and 5th, 9 a.m. to 3 p.m. Rain or shine. So, something to look forward to there. Okay. Um, moving right along here. I'll give you an example. Oh, I lost my phone. Uh, let me just click that. Okay. Um, I think it was the last big comic book show, the one before that. I got a soupy sales book at Joe's uh, comic book show for $5. It's a great book. Uh, this is going back, I think it's early 60s. Soupy sales. <laughs> this is a crazy guy. <laughs> and uh, $5. Soupy sales. The late soupy sales. Uh, Fun and activity book, $5, kind of a fun thing. So that's, you know, you get good deals like that. This is going on eBay. It's going on eBay like $50, $60 or more. So I'm not kidding you, $5. The big, the, the very cool soupy sales book. So you get deal good. Now this morning I was reading Mad Magazine. This is a classic. This is literature. This is right up there with uh, Ernest Hemingway and Thomas Wolfe and John Steinbeck, Mad Magazine, number 89, September 1964. These, I love these old Mad Magazines. And you check it out, 25 cents. For a quarter, you could get a Mad Magazine. Number 89, September 1964. Uh, I just started the sixth grade, and I just joined Boy Scout Troop 170. I was 11 years old. Just turned 11, September 5th. My birthday, I, 1964, I turned 11. Well, like a great, great cover, like a Frankenstein. Because they used to have the, they had these monster models. I believe it was Aurora. They had Frankenstein, the werewolf, um, uh, Dracula, and a few others. Um, but <laughs> Frankenstein's putting the Alfred E. Newman model. <laughs> it cracks me up, this stuff. So number 89, September 1964. So that's what I was reading uh, this morning. Love the Mad Magazine. Uh, I've, I've been reading like my, um, you say like my day-to-day -day read, read a few pages. This is like, a, this is, um, this is 600 and 32 pages long book of unsolved mysteries this is like real life twilight zone stuff great book 632 pages uh you know unsolved mysteries so i've been reading this and uh about a quarter of the way through it all truths are easy to understand once they are discovered the point is to discover them galileo galilei <laughs> a little quote in the back there. Uh, my sister and I have completed 
uh, dad, my dad's, our dad's tribute book for his 30 years serving as Scoutmaster Boy Scout Troop 170 in Lincoln Park, which was sponsored by St. Andrew's Episcopal Church. So that is going, uh, this is, it's Tuesday. So we're going to bring it up to the printer either. Um, we got our scheduled time. <laughs> it's like, it's like a doctor's appointment. <laughs> you get a scheduled time. So we have to call up. We're going to get either Thursday or Friday printing time. And then it'll be a few days and we'll have that ready. Uh, we decided printing has gone up. Uh, printing has gone up tremendously. So um, we're going for twenty dollars $20 a copy, $20 a copy. And um, then for the mailing across the board, media mail for $5. So uh, say you live in Squirrel Valley, Pennsylvania, you want to buy the book, it'll be $25. And my sister's on this Venmo, and I'll give you more detail on that down the road. But um, and then the first 15, we'll have them autographed. So. Um, going through my stuff, I, this is, this is, oh man, this brings a tear to my eye. This is my dad's, uh, the actual Scoutmaster's patch that he actually wore on one of his uniforms. So that kind of, going through the old blue tubs, that kind of brought a tear to my eye. Also, I found this, um. When I was 12 years old, I had a rheumatic fever. And for one year of my life, my feet never touched the ground. But in that time period, I made this for my dad. Uh, it's faded out a little bit. It's a scout symbol that I made like uh, out of wood, wood, a uh, wood, wood burning kit, like Opie had. You know, when when Barney bought the motorcycle, <laughs> Barney bought the motorcycle with the side car. Uh, the side, the sidecar, I guess you call it. So he had Opie, you know, make it like General Pershing cross the river with this, with the motorcycle. So they put it on display in the uh, Mayberry Mayberry uh, Park, so that um, you know, <laughs> so that Andy wasn't getting all complaints about Barney driving around town with his motorcycle. But yeah, this is this is a, a for for a twelve year old boy, I did remarkably well on 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 creating this scouting insignia. I regret that it's faded so badly. But um, so um, nineteen sixty five made this nineteen sixty five seventy five eighty five ninety five oh five fifteen uh, and eight. So 50, basically 58 years ago, right? 58, 50, yeah, 58 years ago, I made this. So it's in, it's in pretty good shape, 58 years old. So um, this is going to be short and sweet, um, <laughs> really short and sweet. So check it out. Uh, comic book connection, big comic book show in Weirsdale. Um, I had it just here a minute ago. I don't want. I don't want to give the wrong dates here. Um, um, yeah, I'll tell you. Um, I got to get organized one day. Uh, yeah, October fourth and fifth on Highway 42. For more information, go on Comic Book Connection and you get more information there. Big, big comic book show. They're always fun. Uh, you know, you won't find people talking politics and arguing about things. Well, well, you know, they might argue, might have a discussion, you know, if Spider-Man and Batman were in a fight, who would win? You know, that kind of stuff. But that's just it. That's it for today. It's a wrap. It's a show, you know? Oh, I got, you know, it's funny. I just, I just realized something. 
here I got this. <laughs> I got this. I just am in the moment here. I got this Man magazine, and Frankenstein's putting a, a model together of Alfred E. Newman. And uh, hold on, folks. Be right back. So I'm back. So uh, <laughs> I'm totally in the moment. I, this is unrehearsed. This was unplanned. But, uh, you know, Frankenstein's building the Alfred E. Newman model. And I just realized that I got my own Alfred E. Newman model. Hold on. Um, woo! <laughs> I, got, I got one of these. Uh, ooh, it's a little... I should have dusted them off. <laughs> I should have dusted them off before I showed them off. That would have been nice. <laughs> if I should say, oh, this guy's got, this room is dusty. I'm kind of embarrassed. So there he is. Good old Alfred. Good old Alfred. You know, watch, watch this. He's a bubblehead. He's supposed to. <laughs> Here we go. <laughs> He's like, <laughs> cracks me up. Good old Alfred E. Newman. So, put this back here. A place for everything and everything in its place. Straighten his head out here. So, I gotta go out, clean the bird baths, put fresh water in the bird baths. Uh, got uh, clothes in the dryer. I gotta get to take them out, and uh, my sister will fold them up. So that's it. Um, that's a show. That's a show. So stay happy, stay positive, stay healthy. This is Richard Maybe signing off.